So I found out today that Google finally dropped Notebook LM Experimental Beta. So if you didn't see the tech announcement a couple months ago, this is their comprehensive multimodal AI powered research assistant that can do podcasting audio in it. It is absolutely amazing. We're going to go through it. You log into your uh, notebook lm.google account. This can be tied to a Google Cloud account or just a standard Google account. And we're going to go into create notebook. You can have up to 50 different pieces that are your source material, whether that is a website, Google Slides, a PDF document, copied text, a YouTube video. There are a whole bunch of different things that you can put in here. You can tie it to websites. It's, it's wonderful. We don't have any documentation in the moment, so we're going to make some. I personally really like science fiction, so we're going to use Jan AI to give us some abstract information that we can put into this podcasting system. So I'm going to abstractly tell it to give us a background on science fiction technological development and how it has affected the real world. All right, so here we have a basic script that is just going through the different technological advances that have happened in sci-fi that have slowly made their way to influence the real world. So we're just going to copy this whole section. We are going to go back to Notebook LM Experimental, and we are going to paste in our copied text. And this is going to act as our source material. All right. And from here, we have a couple different options. It has analyzed the different information that we've put in. It's already given us a summary. We can automatically create an FAQ, a study guide, table of contents, timeline, briefing docs. We can ask it any specific questions. We can also have an automated podcast created for us. And that's what we're going to do right now. And so there are a bunch of different values here that you can go through. Um, it's not totally accurate. This is a generation that is still experimental. So things are still being created and improved, but the results are pretty good. We're going to go ahead and generate, and this can take a couple minutes. My last generation, I think, took about three minutes. All right, so that generation took about four minutes this time, and it created a five-minute audio clip, and we're going to take a listen. Ever find yourself watching some sci-fi flick and thinking, man, I wish that was real life? Yeah, all the time. Well, today's deep dive is going to knock your socks off. We're going to see how science fiction isn't just popcorn fun. It's often been like a sneak peek into the future of inventions. Oh, this is right up my alley. Love this topic. We're diving deep into an art. Okay, so here you can just hear that there's this dynamic two-way audio conversation that's going on that'll slowly be explaining all these different technological developments. I'll include this whole audio clip at the end but what an amazing technology. And this is just the experimental version. This is not finalized. So we can ask this questions. We can create different documents from this. And we can just have this back and forth with a truly upgraded version of a conversational language model. I think this is a huge step forward. And I am so excited to see where this is going to lead. Some people might have their reservations about how this is going to affect content creators and data generation as a whole. However, this is a piece of technology that will be moving forward. And so I just want to appreciate and get to explore this as it's being developed. We do have the option to change our audio speed and to download the file. And in a follow-up video, I am going to add this in with some background music from a new service called Suno, which is AI generated music that actually sounds good. So stay tuned for that video. Ever find yourself watching some sci-fi flick and thinking, man, I wish that was real life. Yeah, all the time. Well, today's deep dive is going to knock your socks off. We're going to see how science fiction isn't just popcorn fun. It's often been like a sneak peek into the future of inventions. Oh, this is right up my alley. Love this topic. We're diving deep into an article all about the wild connection between sci-fi and, get this, technological innovation, like how dreaming up crazy stuff actually helps us build it. It's that spark. You know, sci-fi doesn't just predict, it gets those creative juices flowing. Gives scientists and engineers a kind of, I don't know, a roadmap to what if. Totally. It's like planting a seed in their minds. So, let's start with something everyone knows, space travel. The article uses Star Trek as a prime example. Right. For a lot of people, it wasn't just a show, it was like, 
this vision of what humans could achieve. Yeah, and look at us now, zipping around the International Space Station, robots on Mars. I mean, we got missions planned further than we can even imagine right now. It's mind blowing. And you'd think, well, duh, of course we'd explore space. It's in our DNA. But did that desire come first? Or did stories like Star Trek kind of solidify it? make it popular, you know? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Did Star Trek just tap into some deep-seated human thing, or did it actually steer public opinion and funding to make space travel a reality? It really makes you think, what role does science fiction play in all this? In shaping the future, I mean. Big questions, for sure. Okay, next up, the article talks about robots and AI. Always a fun one. Right. And they bring up Blade Runner, which is so good, by the way, about how it gave us this glimpse into a future where androids are so real, it's creepy. It makes you wonder what it even means to be human. Exactly. And, okay, we're not quite there yet with replicants walking around. Not yet. But that movie and others like I, Robot, they definitely got the ball rolling, you know, got people thinking about AI and robotics. And look where we are now. Self-driving cars, Siri telling us jokes. It's insane. Feels like we're living in one of those stories. Which leads us to, drum roll please. Let me guess, virtual reality. Nailed it. Remember how the Matrix blew everyone's minds with that whole simulated world thing? So good. I know, and now VR gaming is huge. Plus, they're using it for training in hospitals and even with pilots. It's mind-blowing how quickly it's all happening. And the article even says this is just the beginning. Imagine the impact on schools, entertainment, how we talk to each other. Yeah. The possibilities are endless. Endless is right. Okay, so we've talked about space travel, robots, AI, and virtual reality. But what about, and this one's crazy, genetic engineering. Okay, yeah, this is where things get really interesting. Right, remember all those stories about like, human augmentation, Jurassic Park, even the old $6 million man. Classics. Yeah. And they might have been closer to reality than we thought. The article talks about CRISPR, which is a real life gene editing tool, as a perfect example of sci-fi bleeding into reality. CRISPR, that's the one where they can like, edit genes, right? Exactly. It's got the potential to change everything. Medicine, how we grow food, mm. even, yeah, human abilities. Wild. Okay, enough about the past and present. Let's dive into the future. The article throws out some seriously mind-blowing concepts. First up, nanotechnology. Picture this. Tiny machines, like inside your body, fixing things up at the cellular level. Like a pit crew for your cells. Exactly, like in Fantastic Voyage. Such a classic. I know, right? Or how about quantum computing? Think about the possibilities. The article mentioned the quantum thief and the collapsium, both dealing with that very thing. Quantum computers would be a game changer for everything, even AI. It's hard to even wrap your head around. Okay, this next one always gets me reality alteration. The article suggests that one day we might be able to, get this, control our surroundings and de our memories with tech. Wait, like choose your own reality? Exactly, like yeah. in the Lathe of Heaven or the Adjustment Bureau. How crazy would that be? That's both amazing and terrifying. Mm. And while we're not there yet, the advancements in how our brains and computers can connect, well, it's not impossible. See, that's what's so cool about science fiction. It gets you thinking about these things. Holy. Okay, last but not least, the article wraps up with advanced communication. We're talking brain-to-brain -brain interfaces and faster-than-light communication. Stuff that's been in sci-fi forever. It's amazing, isn't it? These ideas that used to be pure fantasy are actually being researched by real scientists. Like and hard. who knows, maybe with all the progress in neuroscience, nanoscience, quantum mechanics, we might see some of these become reality. It really makes you wonder, if science fiction can inspire real technology, then what kind of future are we creating right now with the stories we're telling? What about the next generation of scientists and inventors? What's going to inspire them? It's a question we should all ask ourselves. At its heart, science fiction pushes the limits of what we think is possible. It encourages us to dream big, to imagine different futures. And often, it paves the way for those futures to become real. The line between imagination and reality is blurry, and the stories we tell today can have a real impact on the world of tomorrow. Well said. And that's going to wrap up today's deep dive. Until next time. Don't forget to check out the show notes for links to the article and all the books and movies we talked about today. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss our next deep dive.